Hello, Dan here from Sherp ET. I got an idea as I was putting the stuff back inside of the Sherp is maybe what I could do is distribute the things that I carry with me a little bit differently with the hopes that I could balance it a little bit better. What I mean by that is, is the Sherp is extremely well balanced, whether you're in the water or on the land. The more weight that you have on one side, the more the Sherp has a tendency to drive in that direction. So if I'm driving in the Sherp and I'm the only person in there, I'm going to probably start to have a tendency to turn to the left. So what I thought about doing and what I'm going to try to do is I took all of the stuff that I had out in the bottom of the Sherp in the back that was stored away in the event something happened and I put it inside of one of the containers. I don't know how much this weighs. I bet you it's probably gonna weigh almost 100 pounds. We'll see. I don't know how much it's gonna weigh, but it might help out a little bit. So uh, I was going to do that, pop it in there, and then I forgot about you guys, and then I realized some of the things I didn't put inside of uh, the container here that I wanted to, uh, I forgot about. So what I'll do is I'll just show you everything that's in the inside of this container and kind of go from there. So again, when you do purchase a Sherp Pro, which are no longer available uh, in the U.S. anyhow, uh, you do get two of these containers that go into the back and they double for a couple of different things. They are a seat when they're like this on the side. You can sit on this on the back or you can take them and you can put them flat like this on the floor in the back of the shirt but you can actually sleep on top of these. Pretty strong things. Uh, flip these little switches up like this. You turn them, they pop open. I guess you could consider this both good and bad. They hinge up but they also lift right off of the back there. Uh, so just kind of walk through what I do have. So I have a rope uh, for whatever I need a rope for. I do have oil absorbent pads. So if you do have to work on the bottom of the Sherp, whether there's moisture on the bottom of it or there's oil on the bottom of it, um, it's nicer to work on dry surfaces uh, versus wet. So that's what goes on with that one. I have the belt. Uh, I think I just basically used this in the event I had to hoist something up. Got a very strong, it's actually from a paper machine, a paper machine rope. It's stronger than you can possibly imagine. Just a small little mirror to try to get into places that I might not be able to see in. Got a pair of leather gloves. I got a pair of cotton gloves. There's also some cotton gloves on the inside here with some plastic around the outside. So if it gets really oily, I can use that. This is the toolkit that comes with the Sherp. Uh, there's lots of stuff in here. This I am not going to take everything out of here, um, but there's everything from the pump that you can use to pump the fluid in and out of the tires. And there's lots of different tools that are in there. There's chunks of chain that are in there. Uh, there's a master fuse that's in there. If you break the main um, fuse, by, it's a mechanical fuse, a metal fuse that breaks inside of the Sherp. You can replace it with this. Uh, what else do I have? A blanket, just as just though nothing gets out there. I have a big giant super screwdriver. There's something else in here. I just don't remember what it is. Oh, a little shovel. And the last thing is the hitch that goes on the back. And putting this hitch on there, you can put on a receiver on the back, a two inch receiver and pull whatever it is that you want to pull. Uh, my plan is this uh, summer is to actually purchase the trailer that goes behind the Sherp that's got the same size tires as the Sherp that you pull with the Sherp that goes in the water and all that. And um, I think you use this for that too, but I really don't know that yet. Uh, so that's kind of it. Uh, I'll show you putting it in the back again. Um, but that's everything that I have in here. So I'll get everything packed away and be back with you in a second. Pretty much concludes this video. This is the new trailer that I just purchased. 
28 foot uh, fifth wheel trailer with uh, drive over fenders pretty excited about this now I can haul multiple items when I'm sherping hope all is well in your life take care thanks for watching and subscribing toodaloo